Hello there everybody and welcome to Map the Dragon Railways and today we're on Train Simulator. I haven't done one of these for a while so I decided to do one today. And as you can probably tell I'm on the Falmouth branch line with Falmouth docks in the distance. I'm driving the Victory Works Small Prairie. This is a 4575 numbered 5531 in the splendid Great Western livery and we're hauling a bit of a gunpowder train up towards Truro. So without further ado... I think it's time I put the reverser into forwards, remove the brake, and this is the Steam Sound Supreme sound pack added on, and uh, I think releasing the brakes is the first sort of sound you hear that is um, a good improvement over the Victory Works. So, I think it's time we go. So give it a bit of regulator. We've got to drain some excess water. So you don't want water in the cylinder, so we better drain what we've got out there. Hence the steam gushing out the cylinder drains. And now you can hear it's changed tone, so I can shut him. And what a lovely sound. I'm gonna notch her back. Just as we speed up, just put it into running. Try and notch it back again. Speed limit's 30, we're okay. We're going 20. that um, iconic tick of a Great Western Loco, which is quite nice. I mean, it's a nice bark as well. I've only got 15% of the regulator open. That's all I really need. I'll give her a little bit more though, just so you can hear the chuffing a bit better. I'm just going to notch it back again. I'm not after a record breaking run today, just a nice slow run with a wonderful little loco. So we're only going 26 at the moment. In a 40, I'm not too fast. We still have 199.8 psi, that's the farmer's pressure gauge, so keeping pressure okay which is one of the main games and we're also not blowing off any uh, excess so we've got it perfect I'm gonna give it a bit more reg see I'm just using a bit more steam now so I'm going 30 miles an hour Screenshots whilst I can. Just look how lovely that is. Thirty-five miles an hour, and we are approaching Penler. Just gonna shut down the regulator a little bit. Enough to keep us accelerating, hopefully. Yeah. Give these guys a pen mare whistle. What a lovely loco this is. You gotta love a small prairie. I have uh, in real life worked on both the 45XX variant and the 4575 variant. Um, the exact numbers is 4555 and 5542. Lovely locomotives. And, uh, 
5531, I think, was actually the original number of a Batman uh, 4575 I have. But I've renumbered it to uh, 5542 for the reason of working on the real thing. Yeah. So we're on the level at the moment. Still got plenty of pressure. 199.8 still. And we're going downhill. I'm going to shut the regulator and going to play with the brakes a little bit. Just not put down five inches. We're decelerating a little bit, but nothing too bad. What we want, basically. Let's release the brake a little bit. Leveled out a little bit there. Well, we're on a 1 in 81. But seeing as we've got a few mile an hour to play with now, might as well let it speed up a bit. We're back to 40, so I'm just going to knock it down to 22 inches. We're still accelerating, so I'll take it down to 21. There we go. What a lovely loco. <laughs> a characterful Great Western whistle. Right, I'm going to take the brakes off, give it a bit of welly. And actually we're accelerating far better than I thought we were. Just with 20% reg, but... Oh no, we'll decelerate now as we've hit uh, uphill gradient, so... Listen to that bark. What a wonderful bark this Oko has. And that I think is mostly thanks to the Steam Sound Supreme sound pack. And I just realised there's a 30, so I'm speeding a little bit. Oh well, only a little bit. There we go. Just running through here quickly. quite a fun gradient to play with now so we might get a bit more Great Western bark green signal which is always a good sign just playing about with the regulator so I don't go over the speed limit but I'm trying to tackle this gradient 1 in 60 and we're at 40 now why not give it a bit more just for the fun is that a telephone box or a letter box oh look at that lovely little telephone box Five minutes at it, shoveling in some coal. We've got three and a half turn left in there anyway, so we've got plenty to do the journey. We've only got seven, seven and a half miles left, so it's all right. We've got the wonderful twisty countryside, twisting all around these lovely little bends. And we've had no problems going up that. Uh, one in, well it's 1 in 59 at the moment no problems with this loco we've even hit 40 so I'm going to shut off seeing as I see we've got a downhill gradient coming up so I don't mind losing a bit of speed because it will help me prepare to operate the brakes we're on a 1 in 90 now So we, we knocked ourselves down 10 mile an hour just by shutting that regulator, but we're going to easily make up that speed any second now when we start going downhill. So we're going down a 1 in 60 now. 
got another viaduct coming up, it says. What wonderful scenery. I mean, I think the Falmouth is quite an old route for train sim, but... I mean, it's, it's pleasant. It's a little route. You've got a few little gradients to muck about with. It's a very nice uh, Great Western line. The route does definitely scream the stereotypical Western region. Just put the brake on way too much there. That's because I didn't have this HUD up. I only had the little bit of text in the corner, which I never normally use. This style of HUD that I've got up now is uh, far easier to read than small text at the top. It just gets in your way a little bit. And we're going over the viaduct. Why not? And that looks to be remains of an old viaduct at a lower level, which is quite nice to see on this game. I'm still decelerating. Um, I've got a few mile an hour to play with though, so I'm just going to release the brake. Ah, we're on the level, so I'm going to give it a bit of regulator. we still got 199.8 PSI on the... Uh, pressure gauge pounds per square inch and we're uh, entering a tunnel so there we go and we're going downhill a 1 in 98 so nothing too major just enough that I need to keep my eye on this uh, speed as soon as we're coming out the other end now There we go. You can't help but just admire the small prairie. It's just such a characterful loco of wonderful design. So we are decelerating. We've got another viaduct, just a little one. We're going down a 1 in 65. Radian. And we do have a 30 mile an hour speed limit approaching, but that's nothing too major. I'm going to release the brakes now, seeing as we're on the level and we're going to be going uphill. I'm just going to let it roll a little bit for a few seconds. What a wonderful Great Western loco on a wonderful Western region line. So I'm just rolling because we've got a 30 coming up. There's no point in accelerating when you've got to slow down. Which I'm going to do now, just a little bit. Your 30. There we go. Release the brakes as soon as we hit below 30. Just run through uh, Heron Wool. Probably pronounced that wrong, but oh well. Just whistle hello to everyone. Just giving it. 10% regulator, giving that a nice subtle bark. It's also just taking us up to 30 again. No rush however, because I'm close enough to 30. A slight downhill gradient and a 40, which 
hopefully it'll change just yep there we go just before i hit 30 mile an hour the speed limit's changed to 40 so that's all right and we've got yet another viaduct coming up gunpowder van was there. Just watch it pass by, why not? That's a coupling point. And there's a view from the toad. Now we're going uphill. And I'm just going to give it a good bit of regulator. Just to accelerate. And so we can emphasise on the wonderful bark of this Great Western engine. In fact, you can actually see it rocking side to side, which is quite characteristic of the Prairie Locos. Because they, they do rock. Especially when you're slowly setting off, they tend to rock side to side. It's part of their charm, really. And yet, doing all this, giving it uh, half the throttle, half the regulator, 50%, we've still got 199.8 pounds per square inch, so it's holding pressure nicely. Wonderful sound this. Let's look out the five inside, why not? Look at that landscape. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's just pleasant. It's nothing overly detailed, although it is an age route. still quite a pleasant route nonetheless. We have a tunnel coming up. Nothing much to see in the tunnel. Just the joys of darkness. Speed in a little bit. Just let that naturally decelerate without any braking as soon as we're going uphill slightly. Just a 1 and 9. And anyway, we'll be going downhill when we come out this tunnel. Which are, we are just about doing. I must say, the Steam Sound Supreme add-on really does enhance the sounds of this loco. I mean, the original Victory Works ones weren't too bad, like, really, in the grand scheme of things, but I think the, the changes of the Steam Sound Supreme version is... it just enhances this loco slightly, so it's quite nice. Look at her rolling, it's just a wonderful coaster. I don't mean what you put your cups on. <laughs> so, 35 mile an hour, not too bad. Not giving it any regulator or anything, I'm just gonna let it cruise. We got 30 coming up, but then not long after it's a 60, which is a surprise. That's the fastest speed limit we've had on uh, so far. But the only problem is we've got less than a mile and a half of this line to go. So we're just approaching 40 mile an hour, so I'm just going to notch down the speed a little bit. Just by adjusting the brakes. I think I've got it nipped on at 40.6. So that doesn't matter. That's just... 
notch down a little bit. That's decelerating instead of holding itself in place. It's quite satisfying in this game when you can get the brake bang on perfect, that it holds it at a perfect speed. Right, seeing as we've got 30 coming up, I'm going to knock down the speed, take it, take it down to 15 inches. Going to need a bit more than that, I think. Yeah, that's all right. Only a little bit fast. So we hit a 60 very briefly and then back down to a 30 and then we're finishing off. Let's look at this one of the signal box. Also give it a bit of throttle. Just hello to the signal man. Why not give it some beams? We haven't this whole journey that's full reg it. I know we're still technically in the 30, but oh well. You want to hear it. Giving it the beams. Right, let's shut the regulator. Slam the brakes on. I wanted to be a bit enthusiastic there. We might as well let it naturally slow down. The brakes slowly release. There's no point. We're stopping now. It's rolling in at 20. That was a bit of fun, that last little bit. I couldn't help myself. So here we are at Truro. What a wonderful little place. There's another signal box here. Take the brakes off again. Take it down to 15. And slam the brakes as soon as we're stopped. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like. Comment down below. Would you like to see more content? And what would you like to see on Train Simulator? Uh, please do share this video with your Train Simulator friends. Sharing as can helps get the channel out there. And um, just send it out to anyone that you think might enjoy this video. And please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out a great deal. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I shall see you next time. Cheerio for now.